Hi guys, so today we are making an easy to build timer which I am going to show you how to build. So as you can see here, we need all these components which are breadboard, jumper wires, a 7 segment LCD display, 223 ohm resistors, a switch, an Arduino Uno, and that's it. So, let's see how this works. So, basically, what is done is when we trigger the switch, a signal is sent to the Arduino via this blue wire and then the Arduino senses that and gives the feedback which voltage will be reduced via the resistors and will reach the 7 segment display. So, as you can see, this 7 segment display has 10 pins. That is because you can see there is 7 segments but if you can notice this teeny tiny dot this, this also has a pin and the ground also has 2 pins which are these and this. So one thing to mention here which is this is a common cathode display. In a common anode display, you might have to reverse the code for it to work. And there, this, the, the common wires must be connected to 5 volt pin, not G and D. As that is out of the way, let's go and check the code. So guys, as you can see, here we have a little example of what I have done. So in this code, it says, uh, if pin 0 is high, then it should cycle through all these numbers. But if the pin 0 is low, or if it has negative charge, that means all the pins should be off or nothing is going to display. So let's test it out. So as you can see guys, it's doing nothing. That is since terminal 2 is connected to G and D, the switch is towards the G and D. That means G and D is connected to pin 0. So in the code, it says if it has a negative charge or if it is connected to G and D, it should be off. But let's see if we turn it on. Bam, it starts. So let's see how this works and as you can see this teeny tiny dot or the decimal point as we know it lights up after the count of 9 which indicates the count of 10 but we can't resemble it here so blocks in text Let's vary the time. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See you in the uploading. So, guys, we are back and let's connect the Arduino to a PC. Next, it's a plain Arduino. Let's upload this code. Uploading. 
guys as you can see our Arduino is ready and our code is due let's hit so guys we have uploaded our code here's a switch bam So as you can see, our switch is still on. Let's turn it off. Wait and bam. It doesn't turn on. Let's turn it on again. And again, it's on. So as you can see guys, it loops around like this. And it's quite a cool timer. Example, I want to stop it right now. Bam, it's done. It won't turn on again unless I switch it back on. So now it runs as usual. So this can be used for timer like applications. And you can add a bit of code here to extend this like if after 10 seconds you can do something example turn on a light so it's like a small timer small so you can turn the switch on, on and then it waits for a few minutes after all this then you just turn it off so the lights go off. If you turn it on, it waits for 10 seconds. And the light turns on. So it can be used in such applications. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next video. Bye.